Most Americans don't know anything about the Southern Campaign because what we tend to do in the textbooks is we jump from Saratoga to Yorktown. Um, what happened is that the British decided that New England was kind of a lost cause. They retrenched in the middle Atlantic states, gave up their hold of Philadelphia, moved back into New York City and immediate environs, and that's where they stayed. So you don't have much in the way of operations. So really the war in America is almost like, okay, it starts in New England, it's fought in the middle Atlantic states, and then it moves down into the south. And what happened there is the British ministry decided that they could not continue to send over troops. They, were, they, were t they felt that they had to retain troops in the homeland under the possibility that there might be an invasion by the Bourbon powers, France and Spain, and it was expensive for them to rent uh, German mercenaries. So what they decided to do is try and uh, Americanize the war. They would send an army down to be the tip of the spear. And then they would try to organize loyalists who they were assured by ex-royal governors or royal governors that were still there were very numerous and active in the South and they would use those, those loyalist militiamen, uh, these loyalists, to hold after the, the British Army had gone through. They came up and invaded Georgia successfully in 1779 held off an American counter-invasion, uh, which was a Franco-American operation at Savannah, and then they just literally overran Georgia. Then they moved up in the spring of 1780 and captured Charleston. It was the greatest American disaster of the war because the Americans lost a complete, their complete southern army. Uh, so that then they started to move into the uh, and overtake or, or the South Carolina and many of the South Carolina elites became almost collaborators because they thought the war was lost and so you had some of people that had been supportive of the American cause deciding that now they would cast their fates with the British after the war that got it rather interesting as their families tried to get them back into good graces it becomes a, a, a matter of pol political uh, back and forth.